Welcome back, we're here looking at the end of the season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, December 7, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. So let's go and look at the NASDAQ. And as you can see, we did break down quite aggressively today. We This was kind of also expected um, as we were approaching the 200 moving average. Didn't really get close to the 200 moving average, but was running out of a momentum here. So we did break below the 20 simple moving average, headed towards the 50 moving average. And at this moment, at the end of the US session, we are pulling back quite a bit. And main reason for this is, we, for example, if you look at the one hour chart, we are significantly oversold. And therefore, we should see in the Asian uh, session or when the market basically opens again, uh, this market uh, rallying uh, quite a bit as we are at the moment, significantly oversold. Um, um in in the one hour chart or four hour chart as well you see here the 50 people natural retracement this should be where we would find the next uh, resistance barrier so it may throughout um the asian session and probably also the european session rally up towards this point which is the 250 moving average and also the 50 people natural retracement before continuing to the downside at this current stage the market is um getting really nervous but that this probably wasn't the bottom and that we will retest the bottom yet again if you look at technical indicators for the uh, daily chart we see the macd has just crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum stochastic is very bearish at this point and the rsi is also bearish and we're at the 48 at the rsi and there's a lot of room to the downside if you look at how this market has been behaving it has rallied up towards the 200 moving average above it to the 50 200 50 and nearly 200 and now kind of looks like we're gonna head back towards the lows and break it below here and then we'll see a market going significantly lower as um, global recession is kind of the fear at this point if you look at how energy markets are behaving they are kind of pricing in that we are going to see um, a recession at least in uh, 2023 so at this point breaking above the 200 moving average and then we may go ahead towards the high set of 13.7 don't i really doubt that is going to happen if we turn around here and then we may go and test the 200 moving average at the 12.4 but breaking below the 50 moving average of roughly 11.5 and then we can drop all the way down to the very bottom here and retest the lows of uh, of october which was roughly uh, 10.5 k so let's look at the S&P 500. Very similar here, has fallen quite drastically, but we're still in uh, this upper channel, if you can write it like this. We are actually testing it and bouncing from this um, this um, lower trend line. Breaking below here, opens the door to the 50 moving average, most likely at uh, 3.8. And after that, we could be heading back towards the October lows and down here at the uh, a 3.5 give or take macd is bearish stochastic is also is bearish and, and the rsi is also bearish a lot of room to the downside so momentum is changing but this could just be a continuation of what we have been seeing um the last few months we could actually turn around here and retest or test the 200 moving average yet again which is at roughly uh, uh 4081 if we do that then we may go towards the 4.2k or the previous highs here and probably make a double um a double uh top here we are kind of making a v-shed pattern but that is to be seen whether or not that will basically hold so Let's go and look at the Dow Jones. Dow Jones really fell off a cliff. As I said yesterday's video, it was running out of momentum. Did rally quite nicely at the end of the US session. And if you look at the one hour chart, for example, you can see why we were significantly you know, oversold and therefore we will mostly see a rally. As the 20 simple moving average moving in this direction, 50 and the 200 here. So in the end of the or the or in the U in the Asian session also European session, we will probably see indices rally, but most 
likely rallies will be sold into at least until we get towards the 200 moving average and also the 50 moving average down here so we may see this market bounce on the 200 or the 50 but breaking below here that could really see this market tumble uh, to the downside to the very lows here of 28.6 if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the Kassik is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at the German DAX. Hasn't really happened that much. We did uh, drop roughly 1% at one point, but we're still within this range that, that we have been for uh, weeks now. So dropping below here, then the 200 moving average will most likely come into play. That's also the where we had uh, this top here. So that's roughly at 13.8. After that, 50 moving average down here at 13.3. And then this really falls apart. It's fairly overextended. It rallied significantly above the 200 moving average, which had offered a massive amount of resistance. So building a base here, I don't really think that will hold. I think that in the long term, we will see this market tumble as European economy is far more, um, far more um, dependent on 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 export and so on. And therefore, if we have a global recession, uh, European exports will definitely be be uh, hit, especially also the German um, index. If you look at MACD, it's bearish. Stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at look at the Japanese Nikkei. It has been all over the place today. The highs here roughly 27.8 to the lows of 27.5, ending up at 7.59. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is also bearish. And uh, at this current stage, we are testing that uh, most likely we'll test the 250 moving average before uh, bouncing if we do bounce. So we may see something like that breaking below here, and then this market could tumble back towards a low of roughly 25k. So let's look at the VIX. So VIX has rallied today, but not significantly. So we have seen, no, that was terrible. Uh, we have seen these kinds of long-term uh, declines in the VIX for most of 2022. And what follows is a massive rally to the upside. So the lows of roughly 1920, uh, to the highs of roughly 33, 44, and, and give, or, give or take. But if that is going to be the case here, then we may see uh, the beginning of 2023 with an uh, increase in the VIX. And that will basically mean uh, bad news for stocks as there's a negative correlation between the VIX and, and uh, these uh, and, and indices and stocks. So weeks going higher, stock market is definitely going to go lower. MACD is turning around here in the VIX. Stochastic is also turning around and the RSI is turning around and there's a lot of room still to the upside. So going forward the next few months towards the end of February, probably March, uh, would be a really terrible uh, time for stocks if this basically holds. It's just a trend that has been for most of 2022 if that continues we will see highs here of 233 and the lows of roughly 20 just going forward like that so let's look at the 10 year 10 year um did rally uh, yesterday and today it is technically falling back so we are still in this downward trend and that has not been broken yet and the question is whether or not we are going to drop all the way down towards the 200 moving average before we will see this market bottom um, or that the Fed um, interest rates call will basically be the uh, determination whether or not we will rally from here or break down. At this current stage, we are very low in the RSI. It's at 30, uh, 36 at this point. So on the edge of being oversold, MACD is bearish. Stochastic is also bearish. And so... Momentum is still to the downside, but we are approaching an area where we'll most likely see a significant uh, bounce going forward. So, hope you find this helpful. Your own support job by subscribing, hit the like button, bell button, see our news videos, and please do your own due, due, due diligence before trading in the markets. Good luck and thank you very much.